Hey, there we go. I got some light on the subject. How are you guys? <clears throat> I'm right where I was yesterday. A little, a little bit more sweaty. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hey, what's up, guys? So, yesterday I jumped on here and um, uh, just wanted to say hi. You know, I've, I've I just uh, having some quiet time with the Lord. I've been starting this run app and uh, God told me it's time for me to start pouring into the next generation or some of my fellow. Hey, <laughs> thank you. I missed you guys too. Um, some of my fellow worship leaders um, because I don't plan on doing this for the rest of my life. <laughs> uh, and so while I I have a chance. I want to <clears throat> be able to share some things with you guys. And so yesterday, a couple of people asked some questions. Good morning. Uh, yay, I love Lonnie. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so uh, so I'm just, you know, making myself available to ask, answer questions of some worship leaders. Because, you know, when I first started out a few years ago, I say a few years ago, it's been a little bit... Um, you know, it was a lonely place. I had a great, um, great uh, team at the church that was surrounding me and supporting me. I always joke with um, with the guys. Hey, Lace, Lady Lace, um, Todd Wilson, who was the drummer, and uh, Jamal Andrews came on board as a bass player. And at the time, Lex and Tony, Tony Hemmings was our were our keyboard players, our organ player. And, you know, they had grown up playing in church, but I did not know the first thing really about leading worship. And so, good morning from India. Awesome. Um, so I didn't know, I'm going to go this way. I didn't know the first thing really about worship leading except for what I watched, what I learned from watching uh, Martha. And I do, I do vocal training. Message me on uh, my website. We can definitely get you set up, Tita Dones. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> but the only thing that I knew, <clears throat> excuse me, good morning from the ATL <laughs> was from watching, uh, Martha and Pastor Clint Brown at the time. And, you know, I, I would watch Martha and I would imagine in my head as she was leading, what would I sing next if, uh, you know, if I were leading and, you know, that's really how the Holy Spirit taught me. That's really how he allowed me. Can y'all hear that lady? That's my run keeper lady. Mm. Y'all can hear her, but she, okay, good. Because she's annoying. <laughs> um, but that's how the Holy Spirit really taught me how to hear him. Because I would imagine in my head, okay, we're singing the verse. And I would feel like, man, we should sing that chorus again. And sure enough, like in the next second, Martha would give the cue to, to, to repeat the chorus. And, um, you know, it's, it was, it was things like that, that I paid attention to, um, in my spirit and watching her that, uh, that taught me how to trust the leading of the spirit, you know, in what, while leading and, um, and then things like communicating the, with the band, Todd and Jamal and Tony and Lex and all of them, they taught me how to good morning. They taught me how to communicate with the band. They would be like, you have got to give us cues earlier. If you're going to change, you got to let us know. You got to talk to us. Um, you know, so it's, you know, it, it's their leading worship is, is twofold. I, I believe, you know, you got to, you got to, your main focus, of course, is allowing the people to, <sighs> to posture their hearts in a way that they seek God, you know, um, you know, for so long, I think that we've had, absolutely, we lead and follow at the same time, absolutely, and, and, and we lead the people, and we're following the Holy Spirit, and so you're creating this, this atmosphere that allows them to, to get to where God is, and to seek His heart, and to connect their hearts with their heart, with His heart, and so, you know, it's, it's that part, which is the most important part. But then there's also the, the technical aspect of it, which I think a lot of people, um, you know, you have to learn that part as well. You know, sometimes we have this great gift. We have, we're, we're anointed singers and we can, you know, have this amazing talent, but then you don't know how to communicate with people 
or I mean just the people that you're you're serving with your choir your band and when I say communicate I mean communicate with them on the platform and off you know and being able to serve serve them and serve with them alongside them so you know there's a lot involved in in being that leader and so things like that 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 I want to be able to share with you all so um well I am pulling up at my house so I'm going to uh to jump off now but listen if you ever have any questions I am free to chat free to to uh to speak with you and to share what the Lord has given me so thanks so much <laughs> for watching this morning and uh email me drop me a line you can message at larue.howard larue.howard at larueministries.com larue.howard thank you you too larue.howard at larueministries.com larue l-a-r-u-e dot howard at larueministries.com all right thanks so much for watching feel free to share it and uh, i'll see you next time right here bye thank you so much hope to be there too